Day, welcome. This session, I'd like to go over how to create a human in proper proportions. Proportions being the right lengths, thicknesses, and sizes. In the case of most people starting off drawing the human figure, we get a little confused of how long a leg should be, how long an arm should be, and so on. Da Vinci, Michelangelo da Vinci, came up with a method many centuries ago that was, well, it works, but it's very complicated to most students. What he chose to do was to create a seven and a half head size relationship. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and whether the half is on the bottom or top doesn't matter. From this, he was able to say that you could create the human figure by relating to these head sizes, the sections to the body. In the case of the head, it would be up about here, shoulders down to the hips, down to the knees, knees down to the feet, and you would have yourself a quick, it seems, proportioned human, but it's not quick. You have to create all these little heads. And it's a very difficult method for many beginning students, as I said before. Now, one of the things about that is that I have come up with, for the last 26 years of teaching, a very simple method called my capital R method. In all drawing, we need something that can relate to everything else. We need a starting point. And a starting point for the human, which is always good in my opinion from all my years of drawing, would be the torso, the body. So to start, I suggest all my students start with a capital I. This capital I, okay, can be big or small, it depends on any size you want, because it's your starting point. From this, we relate everything else to it, okay? Now, the interesting thing with this capital I is, as we see over here, Got a shoulder leg coming down to about the hip and body part right there that's about one section. You might notice that in Da Vinci's model it also comes down here to the knees. And it also comes down to basically the ankles too. There are three sections. And so for that we make a three section capital I. It's easy. Capital I from shoulders to the top of the hips. That's very important. These are the shoulders right here. Okay. And this is very important to remember, it's the top of the hips. Because it's not the bottom, we still have a pelvis, the big part of bone in our body here, down to the bottom of our behind, and so we need to fill that in shortly. Now from the top of our hips, down to the top of our knees, and that's also important, top of knees, because the knee will fall below this when we draw the final drawing. Top of knees is an equal length. So shoulders to the top of the hips, top of the hips to the top of the knees are three, are two equal lengths there. We have another equal length, and that is from the top of the knees down to your ankle point. So from here to here to here is also equals to this. So one, two, and three equal parts. This makes a very fast figure, okay? And to make it simple for the bottom, for those starting off drawing, if you do a right angle triangle like this, right, there's a foot to the left or right, and if you go with a little bit of an equilateral triangle, you'll create a foot seemingly coming towards you. Um, I'll get more complicated and more uh, advanced in another uh, session. Now, we have the top of the hips. In order to get the full length of the arm and other things, we have to know where the base of the pelvis is. Now, if we take a look in this sense here, we come down, it's about one-third of the way down to the knee. Da Vinci's model is a very complicated one because we're dividing it always into smaller things. This one, very simple. From top of your hips down to your knee, if you were to divide this into three equal pieces, the first third right here is actually where our pelvis base is. Very simple. Shoulders to the top hips, top of the hips, and top of the knees, top of the knees to the ankle, Come down a third of the way to the top of the knees from the hip, and now you have the base of your pelvis. Interestingly enough, if you do look at any human, you will find that from the shoulder down to your wrist is the length of the entire body, which, when we add the third for the hips, that's the actual full length of the body. So, from shoulders to your wrist, from shoulders to your wrist, it's actually this length here which is equal to the base of your pelvis. When I draw hands, I draw a simple mitten to start with, okay? Just for my beginning students especially, 
That mitten can be made into more advanced pieces later on, and I'll show you that. But in this case here, shoulders to the wrist is the same as from here to the base of your pelvis. We start with one length, and we relate all other lengths to it. From here to here to here to here. Once we have that, we can divide this one into three, take the first third, come over, and now you have the arm. Our arms hinge in about the middle. So this means is that if you divide the full length of the arm in half, we now have the arm elbow, and we have the wrist, and we have the shoulder. Why this is important is now we have a new relationship, because from here to here, if we put our arms straight up against our body, okay, well, our, our head rather, you will find that the half of the arm is actually in line with the top of our head. So that will give us a full proportion figure. So half of the arm is equal to from the top of the head to the shoulders. Now, some people have asked, so how long is the head? If we were to take this length right here and divide it into four equal pieces, three quarters is the head and one quarter is the neck. So let's go over that really quickly because right now, as you can see, we have a very simple, fast method compared to all these little rulers and heads to make this work. So let's draw this out once again. So we take the shoulders and down to the hips as a capital I. From the hips down to the knees, we make a length that is equal to this. Now some people have asked me, how do I make it equal? Uh, especially when I haven't drawn a lot and I have a little trouble with that. If you take a ripped piece of paper, all right, and use it as a basic guide, you can put your paper at the top here and make a mark right here. And that way you will find a way of making this accurate too. So from the knee, top, down to the ankles is also equal. And if you can see how I use that ruler there. So down to here, down to here. Now put your foot down on this one. Here's the other one right there. Now remember, from the top of your hips to the top of your knees, down one third of the way is the base of the pelvis. A full length of your arm is from here to the base of your pelvis. All right, half of your arm is the elbow. Make a mitten, if you wish, and you can do the same on the other side because if you want to go to there, you can actually make an equal piece, that's being equal to that, you can actually have the arm out there. Remember, half of the arm to the top here is the height of a head on the body with one quarter of that distance being the neck. Well, now we have the basics of human proportions fast, simple, easy to go. And I will discuss how to flesh up and create it a little bit more advanced in another session.